Hey guys, so I just did a tutorial for this look. If you want to know how to get it, stay tuned because it's coming right up. Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So I've already done my foundation because I just finished a like three in one foundation routine video. So if you want to see how I got to this point, you can click here to go and watch that video. Now we're going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So to start with this tutorial, we're going to add some bronzer to the face. Right now I'm kind of one dimensional, one color. This is Tarte's Park Avenue Princess. This is a really pretty bronzer. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, so if you don't like shimmer in your bronzer, you probably won't like this. But you just go ahead and swirl your brush in there and then apply it up into the temples and down along the jaw. For blush, we're going to use a MAC blush called Pink Swoon. This is Pink Swoon right here. It's this really pretty, nice, soft pink color. Go ahead and get a little bit of blush on there, tap off the excess. And I'm going to start kind of just in the apple area of my cheeks and then brush it backwards. And then for highlight, we're going to go ahead and use Hard Candy. So this is Hard Candy in the color Tiki. I really love this highlight. You go ahead and sweep that through your highlight. And then I just gently press it into the face. Kind of sort of going in an upwards motion. This just applies your highlight in exactly the right area and exactly the right amount so that you don't look super shiny on your face, but you do look like you have some definite dim dimension to your face. Next, we're going to move on to the eyes. So on the eyes today, we are going to be using a few different products. We're going to start with an all-over wash. Max Brulee, which is this color right here. I'm using the Sigma uh, E55 brush. And I'm just going to go all over the eye, all the way up to the brow bone with this. Same on the other side. So there you go. I'll be using the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadow in the color Amber Rush. So these are a loose powdered eyeshadow that are pressed down, and all you have to do is you just you apply them like any other regular eyeshadow. So you take a little on your brush, and then I'm just going to pat this all over the lid, leaving kind of the inner corner the brulee color. and right up into the crease area. You don't want to go into the crease, but you want to get right up, like, just underneath the crease. And I'm going to use Max Embarked, which is this dark brown color here. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into my crease, starting in the crease and blending outwards. And then finishing it off kind of sort of down and under. Same on the other side, good blend of those two colors. Start in the crease and then blend your way out and then down. And I'm going to take a small pencil shaped brush. This is the MAC 219. And I'm going to take brown down and saddle, which is a little bit of a lighter brown. And I'm going to go under the eye just to give it some more definition. There we go. And I'm just going to use this to kind of sort of blend the colors out and up a little bit so that they pull the eye shape up as opposed to down. And to give a little bit of color underneath that brow bone, I'm going to, going to go in with Max Shroom, which is this one right here. 
This is just a really pretty, soft, shimmery color. I find it creates a really nice highlight underneath the eyebrow. And then you want to take a big fluffy brush, back 224, and just, blend, and just blend the whole eye together. This I just find gets rid of any lines that you might have missed. For the eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and use the MAC Brow Set in the color Show Off. That's what that looks like. I really, I really love these brow sets. They have these beautiful wands on them, and you can literally just brush them through your eyebrows to create really pretty definition and, and fill in your brows. And then I always go over it with just a plain spoolie brush. My eyebrows need a wax, so ignore the, the not so good shape on those. And this is a bald patch. This is what happens from over tweezing. I've over tweezed here, and so that hair has not grown back in quite some time. I'm hoping it will come back soon. We're going to go ahead and apply our eyeliner. We're just, just going to use the Urban Decay. This is the 24 7 and 0. I'm going to go ahead, you're going to see me lean forward, so I've got a closer mirror kind of in front of me. So I'm going to lean forward and just do the inside of my waterline. Most of you who have been watching me for a while know that I don't really like putting eyeliner on the upper part of my eye. Um, I have pretty sensitive eyelids, and so I find that most eyeliners cause me to have really bad eczema, so I just don't really apply stuff there. And then I'm going to take that Sigma Precision Angled Brush again and just blend that waterline out. For mascara, we're going to use the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. And I really like this mascara because it has these beautiful fiber extensions on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a couple coats of that. I'm going to use Max um, Lip Pencil in the color Red. My other camera died, so I'm going to use you guys to finish this off. You want to fill in your lips with the MAC Lip Pencil in the color red. Then I'm going to use the lipstick Watch Me Simmer. And I find that over a red lip pencil, it gives this lipstick a very nice corally color. And there you have it. There's the finished look. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye.